Time now for Talking Pictures with Tony. It's Friday, and although new movies aren't back in theaters just yet, we have some new options for you for streaming right now. And one could be just what the doctor ordered. Film great Tony Toscano has the reviews. Thanks, Brian. Good morning, everyone. New on all video on demand platforms is The Medicine, a documentary about the history and future of the use of ayahuasca, an ancient ceremonial psychoactive making its way into mainstream use. You know, I, I've suffered with anxiety, depression uh, throughout my life, suicidal thoughts and attempts, and I've gone through a lot of dark periods, and I know that those might come up. I go back to my community, the NFL, because we have so many people that, that are affected and the league doesn't care as, as much as they should. I, I would love to be that voice, that person to get that, get that message out and say that ayahuasca was the best thing ever. You know, I'm, so I'm hoping to have that, that type of experience. As ayahuasca gains popularity in the West, the film explores the science as well as the lore behind the plant and why it's used to heal. I chatted with director Farzan Tosi about the film. We took a look at all the different ayahuasca documentaries and most are about the personal journey of a filmmaker that goes down to Peru um, and it chronicles their experience. So we wanted to give the mainstream viewers a real good introduction to the science of it, the spirituality of it, the culture, because this medicine dates back thousands of years that no one really knows exactly how, how old this is. The medicine is a fascinating educational and spiritual look at an ancient medicine and its rebirth in the modern era. It gets an A and is not rated. Premiering on Netflix is Spike Lee's new film, Defy Bloods. You're here for the gold. Don't lie. You're going after the gold. I read those as emails. You gotta choose better passwords. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Come on now, Dad. What do you want, David? An equal share for helping you find it. Hell to no. The authorities find out about this, y'all go back to the crib empty handed. In the film, four aging veterans return to Vietnam seeking the remains of their fallen squad leader and the gold fortune he helped them hide. Defy Bloods is a disappointing, badly written and executed film. From its first scene to the end credits, it's an unlikable mess and will have you reaching for the remote within the first 30 minutes. Pass it by, it gets an F and is rated R. Finally, on Hulu, it's the adult animated series, Crossing Swords. I'm gonna take you under my wing, kid. You're gonna learn from the best, the old master himself. Oh, the adventures you're gonna have. Oh, no. What have I done? Crossing Swords is an unfunny kind of Lego ripoff that becomes very mundane after the newness wears off. I can't believe that this is your first Beast Feast. This festival is enormous. Everybody throw your swords in the air. Hi! Wait, wait, this is a bad idea. It gets a C and is rated TVMA. For ABC4, I'm film critic Tony Toscano. So you got some options there. Thank you, Tony. If you like Tony as much as we do, head to Facebook, like his page, Talking Pictures, or just visit his website, talkingpictures.tv.